Hey guys, it's Rush G here, how you all doing? Got a quick little video to, to share with you. Um, this video talks about uh, the difference between V-Trigger combos and non-V-Trigger combos. So I'm basically highlighting um, how to get more damage from common combos and setups and the difference it has once you're in V-Trigger. So there's lots of combos we use as, uh, as chem players on a daily basis. But I wanted to open your eyes up to a few scenarios where you can get more damage with those combos when you're in V-Trigger. So they're V-Trigger specific combos, very familiar situations, but you may not use them all the time. So um, this won't really apply to high level Kens, they'd already know a lot of this. But it's interesting to see the difference in the combo potential Ken has non-V-Trigger compared to V-Trigger. So we'll hop right into it, we won't mess about. So we'll start with Chin Buster. So max, we'll, we'll go for the same um, amount of me to spend as well. So where I spend, spend one or two bars of EX, in V trigger, I'll spend the same amount non V trigger. So start with Chin Buster. So Chin Buster and EX meter, the most you're going to get is is that 223, a raw Chin Buster into EX Tatsu. Now, to increase damage and using one bar of EX uh, in V trigger, what you do is, is you do the, the Chin Buster, and V skill, you do light punch DP, then you, you, then you do EX DP. It doesn't matter what range you're standing at, whether you're close range or max range, that will always link. You see the damage difference already, so we had 223 versus 310 I think it was. Yeah, 310. So a significant amount of damage um, Ken gets um, in V-Trigger in comparison. Uh, second one is quite similar, um, for the V-Trigger version anyway. If you get a stand heavy punch, non crush counter, save your shimmy. And you can see and you can react into the V skill. Um, one bar, that's the most you're gonna get. 263. Cancel the V skill, do it like your Tatsu. Uh, 263. If you're in V and if you're quite sharp um, with reacting, you can do Light Punch DP, EX DP. The reason that works is because Light Punch DP is a, um, it's a three frame, so it links. Off of the, of the run. You can't get a 4 frame after the run, but you can get 3 frames. So that does more damage. If you don't want to spend the meter, then you have the option of doing like your Tatsu, Heavy Punch DP, but like for like, Light Punch DP, EX DP. If you do the um, Light Tatsu, EX DP, you can see it does less damage. You know, it's the exact same combo with non V trigger, it does less damage than. The light punch EX. So that's that one. Um, we'll look at. I think what's the next? Uh, crouching heavy punch. Sorry, crouching mini punch. Stand like kick EX uh, EX tattoo. Good combo. Uh, two on five damage. If you're in V trigger, you can actually add a move in the middle of that um, rather than EX tattoo. If you do mini tattoo. And you will get EXDP after it. It's pretty good that. And I often forget myself that you can, you can do that. Um, more damage again. Uh, it does. It's a very similar corn carry. It's surprising though. Let's have a look. We'll start from there. So just past halfway. Probably more, you can probably get more corner carry there anyway. It won't work at range. Let's have a look. I don't think. Yeah, if you're, at, if you're at a distance, you won't get the three hits of the uh, Minika Tatsu, which is what happens to the same combo close range outside of each trigger. You only get two hits. So you can't get the XDP there. But it does give you the three hits in V trigger. So that works. Um, pretty much mid-screen, that's that's the whole lot, I think. Uh, for that whiffs, if you're in V-Trigger, that won't whiff. You get the juggle. Yeah, that, that you get the exact same combo. There'll be more damage in V-Trigger, but you get the exact same combo. It doesn't differ. I guess what you get in V trigger is 
away in that. She's a 191. To crouch and like it, stand like it. Like your tattoo. EX tattoo. So non V trigger, you'd get. No, sorry. Non trigger, non V trigger, you get crouch and like it, stand like it, EX tattoo. In V trigger, you can add a like it tattoo to that. So yeah, that's a, that's a significantly different one. So you want, if you want the tattoo corner carry, um, but you want to add more damage to it, rather than doing that, add the like it tattoo. Looks pretty cool as well. It's another one. But yeah, corner now. That's where things get a little more interesting we can. Ah yeah, there's actually there is one more. It's one more. Mid screen. So this one. Crouching, mini punch, sand my kick. That doesn't link. The um, the heavy kick tattoo doesn't combo into the um, from sand light kick. It doesn't work. Between V trigger and your close range. That actually does combo. That's an interesting one. If you haven't got meter, you want to get the corner carry. That still works. That's a no meter spend on both. Back in the corner. So. Same as before, crouch and mini punch, stand like kick. If you're in V trigger, you can extend that quite a bit significantly. Like it tattoo, mini punch DP, heavy punch DP. So it's really good damage though. And no meat to spend at all. So you can cancel the heavy the heavy punch DP third hit into CA. Um I'm trying to think what else. So if you were to do Crouch light, stand light, EX tattoo, and V trigger. This works with a lot of V trigger setups. Use the EX fireball. After the EX fireball, light punch DP, heavy punch DP. There's a massive amount more damage. It's where you, that's where you want to spend one bar of EX in the corner. If you do it with the um, crouch and mini punch, stand like it combo, it's not that good to use EX fireball. There's a light punch DP or whiff. Heavy punch DP or Link. I think EX Tattoo will work as well. Yeah. But it's not really a good idea. I think if you go for the Crouch and Mini Punch, stand like it. Go for like a Tattoo and a Double Dragon Punch. Uh, I think. Yeah, interestingly enough as well, stand like it and Light Punch. Crouch and like it, sorry. In V Trigger. If I were to compare two combos, so if I were to do that and that if you do like a tattoo after each of those this follow-up is different that's what you get yeah like a tattoo light punch dp heavy punch dp if you end in sunlight punch if you end in sunlight kick you get two hits of the tattoo if you do that light punch dp whiffs so you only follow up there is heavy punch dp EX DP. I think EX Tattoo in the corner whiffs. So let's have a look. Yeah, don't do that because he launches forward. You whiff all together. So if you're in the corner, you want to spend the meter. EX DP. But to be honest, the crouch and like stand light punch is better. Because you can do stuff like this, you can do. One hit mini punch DPCA for massive damage. But because you get the pushback, you get one hit of the Lucky Tatsu. The one hit of the Lucky Tatsu, essentially the double, the double dragon boost up. That's that. Um, it's not really worth going for Crouch Mini Punch Sand Light Kick, Mini Kick Tatsu in the corner. That's 286. Because you can do, um, you can do that. So I crouch mini punch, stand low kick, low kick tattoo. But this time do light punch DP, EX DP, and get more damage. And that's a situation. Uh, chin buster, straightforward. Uh, non V trigger in the corner, one bar VX. Give me that one. Actually, you know what? I don't, let me just check something. That's 223. Ah, oh, yeah, I think it will be the most damage. Yeah, you 
can't get that. It doesn't work in the corner. So yeah, you get that. 2-2-3. Two, two, in V trigger. Light punch DP. EXDP. You can do that for more damage. Um, you don't have to do the V skull in the corner. You can just do that. And that. But that's the reason why I do the run, you see. So if you watch, I do the run. That causes the XDP not to whiff then, in that situation. If you do, um, do raw, you got to time the opponent to fall down first. Like that. Catch. If you do it too early, you go underneath. If in doubt, don't do EX, just do Heavy Punch DP, and you won't go underneath. It's more difficult to go underneath using that setup. That's a bit better. But for optimal damage, well, if you've got one bar of EX, do the, do the V skill. Light Punch DP, EX DP. It's that one. Uh, Chin Buster, similar story. That's your two bar, I'm sorry, your one bar EX. In the corner. So this is a bit more tricky now because you can't do the V skill. It whiffs, so you need to do it manually. Do that in the corner. I'll do it again. I probably wouldn't do the XTP there, I'd probably go for Heavy Punch. Just to make sure I don't drop the link, the combo. Um, I'm really spoiled for that, especially in the corner. Is that optimal one bar? 227. It looks like it. Yeah, I think it is. Crouching mini punch, chin buster, light punch fireball, EXTP. I don't think it has to be light punch. Let's have a look. I think I prefer to do light punch. And then In that scenario, I think you'd be that again. You do the um, chin buster, V skill, light punch DP, EXTP. Yeah, that won't do as much damage. 313. Yeah, significant amount more damage in that scenario. I don't think there's anything else really in the corner can get. Um, you, I could cover counter combos, but it's not really worth going down the route of counter combos as well in this video. So let's keep it simple. But um, it's a quick video covering, just a recap. So the, uh, the non featuring combos and the V-Trigger alternatives for more damage and the um, same again in the corner but I've also compared various corner combos in V-Trigger for more damage 2 bar combos um, in the corner Ken does, oh actually no, Ken does have he has that in the corner for 2 bar non V-Trigger I think it's the exact same combo it does more damage I don't think there's any alternative there at all Three, three, one. There you go. It's not even worth spending two bar. It's not in V trigger. In V trigger, just do the the life and the reason for that is EX fireball does similar damage to light punch DP. Light punch DP does more damage, so it's not worth doing that. Three three nine. Oops. It's good non V trigger. It is good then, but it's not good in V trigger. Three ten. Three oh nine. There you go. So it's not really worth going for that. The two bar combo. Uh, Best two bar combo really with Ken the corner, but it's it's mainly a stun combo. It's unrealistic to get it any other time. I'm oh, sorry, in V non V trigger, but that's a stun combo so that wouldn't apply. 
I think that's it guys. I think I've covered pretty much everything there. So um Yeah, give me a shout, let me know if that's helped. Um point out a few combos that you've not seen before. It's helped you optimize combos. Any feedback as usual, give me a shout. Hope you enjoyed, take it easy.